Move into the piece of de resistance. Piece de resistance. So we have. Be well, real careful I'm, with us. I know. <laughs> I'm actually moving the uh, the beverages that are over there too. <laughs> so what we have here is another Mezco. So we've we've kind of gone through a few of these lately. Uh, two weeks ago we did. It might be three weeks at this point. We did the fall exclusive Iron Man 42. 42. Uh, there was also the Doctor Strange. We covered Doctor Strange, but we didn't do the fall exclusive. Couldn't get our hands on that one. Uh, Thanks, Moshko Collectibles. Before. Uh, but we also were able to get this in, which is the Wolverine 5 Ronin edition. Uh, this is also a fall exclusive through Mezco. And we are going to open this guy up. This, uh, you know... We're, we're not going to do that to it. We're going to open this one. Yeah, we don't, we don't, no, we don't take knives to, to this. <laughs> so just like anything, with the, with the exclusives, again, you get a smaller box. That's the first thing that's kind of, you know, notice. Everything's kind of wrapped up. Uh, typical Mezco styling. Um, the artwork on here is actually really cool and distinctive. I think what's going to happen is we're going to break this out, and like last time, Baby Huey is going to be like, "Wow, oh, I kind of want that." Like, yeah, like Iron Man, <laughs> like the Iron Man. <laughs> uh, so you know, typically on the the standard uh, Mezcos, you're going to have uh, the figure on the back. It kind of shows the uh, accessories, but this is very much just artwork. And this is based off of the Five Ronin book that Marvel did, where it was Marvel heroes back in feudal Japan telling the story of Five Ronin, mm -hmm. which is. Uh, a classic story, kind of reimagined as a Marvel comic book. Mm -hmm. This was, uh, I think, 2011. I forget the... I, I knew who the writer was. I cannot think of the name right now. Baby Huey, to the interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that is... Uh, yeah, interesting story. Uh, there are a couple other characters, which I'm interested to see if... They'll do all of them. They'll do all of them. Uh, there was, I know, Psylocke, Hulk... Um, I can't remember all of them now. Was it Hawkeye? Hawk, yes, Hawkeye, and then there was a fourth. No one cares about Hawkeye. I can't think of who Ooh, it was. Menti's in the chat right now. He might disagree with you. It's not as cool as Green Arrow. Um, here's, the, here's the one thing that I'm going to say about Mezco. I love their toys. I love everything about them. They're not big on completing anything. Right. Um, if they were, we wouldn't have 17 Wolverines, 6 Deadpools, and 1 X-Men. <laughs> so or I guess two, two X-Men I guess you would have now mm -hmm. so we'll see what happens I don't think they're going to do mm -hmm. all these I think they know they have a good cash grab with Wolverine because mm -hmm. Wolverine fans are going to buy everything Wolverine true now if they did a Moon Knight or Gambit or they've got a Ghost Rider coming out if they do yeah. seven Ghost Rider I'll probably buy all seven <laughs> Ghost Rider <laughs> so I'm really not going to make fun of them that much but mm -hmm. I, I really think this is the the winner of their fall exclusives I think so Actually, no. I kind of like the Iron Man. Well, the know. Doctor Strange one looks cooler than all of them. We'll, we'll look a little closer at this, but the, there are some really nice uh, parts about this this figure. So. You're the bottom guy. I am a... <laughs> wow. What's that? Oh. It says... Iron Man came with instructions. This one does not. The product care guidelines. Okay. They just basically say, our stuff might break, be careful, and it's not meant for toys. And the clothes are not meant to be removed. All right. Yeah. 
pretty uh, pretty standard stuff. Anyone who has collected a Mezco or is familiar with the brand knows that when you take this out, you do not immediately start moving anything. anything. You do it very, very slow. You want to make sure all the joints are lined up. You want to make sure... You know, it's warm, number one. If this been is, you know, it's, it's winter time, almost. Um, if this has been sitting on a truck for eight hours and you get it and you go to start manipulating it, uh, snap. chances are it will snap. Or if you're in the, the Mr. Mauer household and I keep it like 45 degrees, it might snap. <laughs> There's a little chill in here. So, just like everything else, we've got a bunch of trays. This is probably the coolest base I think I've seen them do. Actually, I'm throwing shit everywhere. That's what we do around here. Uh, cool base. I'm just waiting to see, and it sounds weird, the feet on this. Because there was a big thing if it was going to be molded or like the, separate. If it had like socks. Nope, it's molded. So it is molded. Ooh, it smells like plastic. <laughs> Look at that guy. Get him to stand there. Again, traditional samurai yep. clothing garb. The, and they've got them. So when they originally showed this and unveiled it, they unveiled it with the alternate head, which is kind of your standard Wolverine head. And everybody got nervous that they wouldn't do the traditional top knot uh, that he has in the comic and for the samurai to have. Command button. <laughs> Yes. So uh, out of these two, I don't know, maybe you want to get a closer look on that camera over there. I don't like that head. Yeah, uh, I I rather have <laughs> I rather have the top knot. Mm -hmm. it, it just fits. It looks better. Um, now there is already somebody making a customized head for this, but not for the reason you think. Okay. So they are doing a Belushi head. Okay. I get that. That so, is that is pretty fantastic. Uh, what was the character from Saturday Night Live? Uh, something Samurai. Yeah, something Samurai. So people are putting this outfit with a, a blue she had to go to that classic Saturday Night Live skit. Again, the details all the way around. It's, it's cool. Um, back to the head really quick. So... The reason you should have a should have had a really good look at it. The reason I don't like this is the mouth, like the snarl. The, yes, um, the the teeth. Now, granted, it's extremely hard to paint detail in this size or smaller. Um, so you know there is that kind of going for it, but it, just the way it kind of looks when you get up nice and close to it. Um, and I have some really uh, tight pictures um, of that head actually where. You know, you'd be able to see like how number one intricate the paint is, but also how goofy the mouth looks. Um, so we'll leave it at that. But you know this, and this is the head that's actually on. Uh, it's on another one, I believe. I think they, they've been reusing a lot of the mm -hmm. Wolverine heads. Uh, I do like, <coughs> excuse me, the like very calm, stoic look mm -hmm. that the top knot head has. Now, what kind of accessories do we get with Rune and Wolverine? We've got all kinds of cool stuff. So what samurai would be a samurai if the samurai didn't have a samurai sword? Uh, so there are actually two of them. Uh, that's not a samurai sword. That is, what's the technical term? Uh, that's, ta ooh, there's a K1 and then a T1. They carry two, one's for the kill. I forget. There's two swords. And she says, hashtag Mauer has a foot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we don't invite him to these things. Anyway, with the bottom comment before and the foot comment now, we're having a wonderful time. There's a, I don't necessarily Minty. want to take this out. Just read behind. Oh, is that the little scarf? Yeah, so let's yeah. see if this has wire in it. I don't know if it does. It does. That's cool. Okay. All right, so what are we taking out? So this is a red scarf. What's the technical term for it? Put me on the spot. A red scarf. <laughs> technical term is accessory, <laughs> accessory for a toy. So, you know, obviously this can go... 
there's all kinds of cool uh, pictures of this out there. You know, somewhere it's crossing over. You know, his head, his face. But the neat thing is with the wire in there, you can make it as if the wind is picking it up and, and moving it around. Pretty cool. All right. So we got real, real quiet because this is pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, not going to lie. I'm a little jealous that you have this and I don't. <laughs> that is cool. That is pretty cool. So you... Mezco has been releasing so many cool things. Now, do we only have one clawed hand or is there two? There are two. All right. We'll jump through the hands really quick. Um, and then this this caught me off guard too, actually. Um, so you get the two claw. So you get two fists. You get uh, two clawed hands. Then you get two holding um, hands. Holding hands for the the swords. The swords. Features. See, I listen to the podcast. So you get those two that can you know hold the weapons, and then you get this. So it's a katana and a what? I could have told you it was a katana. Well, there's two. There's it's not a sai. It says long katana and short katana. That's on their site? That's on their site. Search up. <laughs> Search what the real name of it is, but the technical terms. All right. Hey, we're calling the red thing a scarf. So. Well. <laughs> Back to the hands. Um, again, two claws, two fists, two uh, hands to hold the weapons, the swords, the katanas. And then you get a seventh, right? Seventh uh, hand here. You don't get an eighth, you just get a seventh. And uh, this particular one, it is meant to kind of hold as you are uh, you know, pulling uh, the, the reaching. Yeah. It's, so to, it's it. to pull the uh, the sword out of its... The reaching hand. The reaching hand. Let's see if the Huey can get that. Now, where does this fall in your... Ever so building, like, growing collection growing of collection. Let's go. Uh, I don't put this in front of the Iron Man. Um, reason being is just the build quality on the Iron Man with it being uh, die cast parts on it. It's heavier. Uh, it's, you know, it, both of them are very iconic, uh, you know, character uh, models. Um, I just like it better. Yeah. I, everybody kind of has their preference. Uh, this is really cool once you get, you know, everything kind of on him. Um, from a posing standpoint, this will do pretty much everything. The I think the only thing, I think the ab crunch might be a little, little nope, that's pretty easy too. Uh, swivel is going to be a little tight, but other than that, you have full range and full, I'll just kind of move this up. Again, Mezco, cold, we're not going to move these things too far right now i do want to get a close-up detail of the x-men logos that they have yes here. right on the uh so the key so. let me know if that's in a good spot for you huey because just the little details and yep. that's where mezco seems to win over mm -hmm. as much of the quality control issues that they have out there right they do a lot of things really well yeah, I haven't heard too many complaints whatsoever about this figure. Uh, Catwoman came out recently. A lot of issues with the uh, the legs on her. Uh, the, well, their lady figures are very, very small parts. Right. Um, and let's be honest, this is probably the same Wolverine body they've used for 17 other Wolverines right now. <laughs> they figured them out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I looks, looks good. It's awesome. I don't know if I would pay the huge aftermarket price, but it looks like the mm -hmm. prices are dropping on it a little bit. They are. Settling around around the 130 135 right. Uh Good figure. Happy to see what they have coming out next. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for the Gordon with the bat signal when that finally comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. Ghost Rider, which now they give him a motorcycle, so yeah, awesome. The last, uh, there's one more fall exclusive that still needs to ship. Uh, it was available at a lot of the cons, but... Uh, with it shipping, uh, they didn't announce a date yet, uh, but that's the Spider-Man Homecoming homemade suit, uh, Spider-Man. So we will have one of those we'll here have. to mm -hmm. unbox and play with. Absolutely. So, as always, I'm Mr. Mauer. I'm Moshko. Let's see if he can get these up on each side. Awesome. <laughs> uh, earlier, you had Baby Huey. We don't like to give him much credit, but 
I guess it is his show, so we should thank him. <laughs> um, check us out on welcometofireside.com. Order your toys from moshcocollectibles.com. Listen to us on the OG Podcast Network at ogpodcastnetwork.com. Follow us on social media at, on Instagram, Welcome to Fireside. You got Twitter at the Fireside Crew. And then right here on Facebook at Welcome to Fireside. And Moshko collects, and I know you don't have a slide for it, but Moshko collects across the socials. We'll make us a slide for that. Fantastic. Just for you. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, like, share, comment, uh, except for you, mentee. Screw you. Uh, we, we like interacting with everybody. Hope you like doing this. Mm-hmm. We've got some big things planned moving forward. Uh, and in the coming new year, expect a whole lot more from these unboxings. And you know what? On that note, woo! You have to do the clap first. <laughs> woo! See you guys. No. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I can still find these. That's. Hey, world, I'm Menti. I'm Features. Mr. Mauer. And we host Fireside Chats and are extremely excited to be a part of the OG Podcast Network. Our show is a half hour, twice weekly recorded podcast where we discuss any and all things comic related. So, whether you're a bagged and boarded brethren with a pull list as thick as a dictionary, or you were introduced by a bag of popcorn and an end credit tease, Fireside has what you need. So check us out every Wednesday and Saturday right here. Right here. Right here at the OGPodcastNetwork.com. Comic facts and wise cracks. Welcome to the show. This is Fireside Chats.